All right, let's just jump right into this and create a new design. The way that this program works is as easy as dragging out shapes by click and dragging them from the shape library over onto the work plane. And let's just start by dragging out a few things. All right, so there we have it. We have these objects on the work plane and we are off to the races. Now, the first thing you need to learn is how to navigate in 3D space. So we have some standard views here. We can look at it from the top. Look at it from the right. Back. Bottom. Left. And then when we want to look at it from, you know, the regular view that we started with, we can just click on the home button and that takes us right back. We can always click on this home button to take us back to where uh, we see everything on the work plane. Now we can press the fit all to get a zoom in and, uh, and see everything we have. We can click the plus to get closer. Click the minus to zoom out. And this changes the perspective. So if you want just sort of a, a flat view, uh, this is what you'd use. Most of the time, though, we're going to work in perspective view. This is just easier for most of the time. Now, with this uh, view cube, as I call it, you can click on edges and corners in order to get some more sophisticated views. and then back to home. So that's these buttons and controls over here. Now let's talk about uh, the way we'll navigate most of the time, which is using the mouse. If I press down that middle mouse wheel on the mouse and I move back and forth, this is called panning. So I'm not really changing my, my point of view here. I'm just, it's like I shuffle my feet to the left or right. Or up or down. Okay, Not changing the view at all. Now if I scroll the middle mouse button, that scroll wheel, that's going to help me zoom. So I can pan and zoom pan and zoom, get in a close look at that particular object. Okay. Another thing I can do is use the right mouse button, click and drag that mouse button, and this will help us do what's called orbiting. Orbiting like uh, the moon goes around the earth, so you're going to orbit around the objects or the, the work plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a Minecraft pickaxe. And to do that, we're going to start with a clean slate. And so we need to delete these objects. Now you can select each one by clicking on it and pressing the delete key. Or we can do what I'm going to do, which is move my cursor uh, off over to the side here and click and drag a uh, what we call a marquee. So this little box, we're going to drag this mock selection box over and that selects everything. And then I'm going to press the delete key and there we are. Let's get started on making the Minecraft pickaxe. And to do that, just like in Minecraft, we're going to build it with single blocks. All right. So we're going to drag a block out, put it over in this corner. Now the handle of the Minecraft pickaxe has nine of these blocks in diagonal. Now the key to doing this, and the whole point of this exercise, is to align these properly. And to do that, you're going to need to move your view around a lot. Practice navigating the 3D window, zooming in and out, orbiting, panning, the whole works. Okay, So we're going to use all of those skills in order to build up this pickaxe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
uh, fast forward through making the handle and then we'll move, move on from there. So here's our handle, and you probably already figured this out, and, but if you did something weird uh, while you're working on this, like accidentally change it somehow, uh, you probably notice that there's these uh, undo and redo arrows up at the top, or you just use the sh keyboard shortcuts like uh, Control or Command Z to undo it so that's what I suggest if you know if, if you make a mistake just just undo it and you can go back as far as you need to click as many undos as you need to so now we're gonna finish building this axe and to do that we need to move we need to have three more boxes in diagonal here and then off the top or off the tip one uh, nine boxes in a row off the end so here we go. One, two, three, and then we're going to do a total of nine off in this direction. So I'm going to fast forward again, but you'll see that I uh, add in nine total, including this one. So this one gets counted twice. We're going to do nine in the other direction nine in this direction and then you'll see me fill it in and you can follow along and I'll see you at the end with a finished pickaxe There we have a Minecraft pickaxe. Easy, right? Well, if it wasn't easy for you, then uh, don't worry. It'll come. What's really important is that you take your time and practice and place these blocks precisely so that they're lined up with each other and you get a nice, clean-looking uh, object like this. If you're having trouble, uh, ask a neighbor. Raise your hand, uh, talk to some of your fellow students, and uh, I'm sure somebody will be able to help. One last thing before we go, just wanted to let you know that your work is automatically saved as you go. So you don't need to worry about uh, clicking save or anything like that. Just uh, as long as it's not got a little symbol here that's, that says it's working on it, then you're, you're, you're safe. You're ready to go. So let's, uh, let's get back to the dashboard by clicking on the logo in the upper left-hand corner. And there we are back at our dashboard. So go ahead and why don't you try to create a, a new design using what you've learned. Uh, try out something new. I'm really excited to see what people do uh, with uh, what they learn. So just go play and have fun.